Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Sister Kim from Looking Towards the Heaven for Jesus channel. This is actually part four of the word she was given, and the title is Behold to the Great City of Babylonia, to New York City, and like that of Chaldeans. And this word was published on the 23rd of June, 2019. Daughter, write to the people of this great city by the sea, and that never sleeps, for she has become immoral and unfaithful, and as defiled as Sodom and Gomorrah. Hosea 4 verses 1 and 2 And instead of it saying to the children of Israel, she was told to instead say Babylonia, New York. Hear the word of the Lord those of Babylonia, New York, because the Lord has a charge to bring against you who live in this land. There is no faithfulness, no love, no acknowledgement of God in this land. There is only cursing, lying and murder, stealing and adultery. They break all bounds, all bloodshed follows bloodshed. With her whore mounted upon the sea, whereby to cause those to practice her blasphemies, thereto commit whorish abominations with her and her dwelling place, to be of every foul and unclean spirit, and demons to cause many to drink the wine of her fornication. Therefore they, the cup of my wrath, that of the wine of my fury, pours out upon them, the harlots, all that is detestable has been made known. Repent, do not forsake the Lord thy God and my ways of righteousness. She was given Ezekiel 16 verse 1. Please read. It refers to adulterous wife, spiritual adultery and fornication and detestable practices. Revelation 17 verse 2 with whom the kings of earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with her wine of fornication. Revelation 14.10 The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Ezekiel 16, verse 5. But you did trust in your own beauty, and played the harlot because of your renown, and poured out your fornications on every one that passes by. His it was. Ezekiel 16, verses 29 through 31. Then you increased your promiscuity to include Babylonia, a land of merchants, but even with this you were not satisfied. I am filled with fury against you, declares the Sovereign Lord. When you do all these things, acting like brazen prostitutes, when you built your mounds at every street corner and made your lofty shrines in every public square, you were unlike a prostitute, because you scorned payment. Hearken, O ye inhabitants of this city, of her exceedingly great clamor and bright lights, she will be hushed with flames of fire. As her power goes out, dimmed will be her lights, her delicacies spoiled and unused, worthless paper and coins of silver and gold thrown into the streets, and she will be rendered powerless. The start of her nation's troubles and downfall so shall it be with her Babylonian king, Trump. While he is enthralled with war and sorely vexed to have no solutions amid tensions within her to the fiasco arising in this nation, ruin, and in the Middle East, he will be overthrown to fall to another, Antichrist Obama. Daniel 5 verse 30 that very night Belshazzar, king of Babylonians, was slain, 
reference to previous video, Trump is likened to Belshazzar. As will his lavish dwelling place in lush Manhattan, his Tower of Babel, of those things which offend me, yet he holds sacred in his heart, more so than he ever did for me, certainly no love for me as was with King Belshazzar, and his lusts for idols and lavishness thereof. So shall it be, and history repeats itself. Therefore his abominations made desolate, as will his whoredom of other gods, and so shall the idolatry of this great city of Babylonia and its modern-day Chaldeans within her. There will be no art of the deal to buy his way out, or to save himself or this nation of Lady Liberty, or her great city, or their pagan statue of liberty, for all will fall, for there is nothing but deception in her, and those who commit adultery against the Lord thy God. He repents not, nor does most of her inhabitants, thereof even when I have called for repentance and rebuked her. Your love is for another, and therefore no seeking of me, but of those things of your desires of this world, not of your father. Proverbs 1, verses 24 through 33. Because I called you and you refused me, I stretched out my hand and no one paid attention and you neglected my counsel and did not want my rebuke. I will also laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock at your calamity. When your dread comes like a storm and your disaster comes like a whirlwind, when distress and angu anguish upon you, then they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me, but will not find me. Since they hated knowledge, they did not choose fear of the Lord. They would not accept my counsel. They spurned my rebuke. They will eat the fruit of their ways and be filled with the fruit of their devices. For the waywardness of their naivety will kill them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. And he who listens to me will live securely and be at ease without fear of evil. Therefore, what has been sown shall be reaped. It is the final call for repentance, as these judgments are set and are forthcoming, come out of her, my people. Devastation is at hand. The fate of this great nation and many inhabitants thereof is sealed. Only I know whose hearts will turn to me, or to be fallen as she, O Babylon. The flames of my fire come. The flames, fire of war comes also to awaken my people. I am everlasting to everlasting. My kingdom reigns forever. I am king of kings. I set up kingdoms and its kings. I shall bring them down. Those haughty shall be brought low. My kingdom will arise. My will be done. My people, humble yourselves, wail and mourn, Don sackcloth and ashes and call a solemn assembly and pray for this nation that her people come to repentance. Yeshua, Jesus. And that is the end of the message. I will post the transcript in the comment section after I load up this video. Again, if you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please call on him today. Call on him now. Time is urgent. We do not know how, how quickly it is that this is going to take place. People are so oblivious to the times that we are in. People need to wake up and see the things that are going on in the world today. So please call on him if you have not. Repent of sins. Anyway, you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. 
and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.